Jesus of Nazareth. You are charged with blasphemy. He has been I think all of us have seen a version of that movie, right, growing up. Well, that is a scene uh, from the movie Son of God that is in theaters right now. Now, it's beat box office expectations that now the Bible epic is hitting the road and going on tour featuring popular Christian artists. Now, the movie is said to be the story of Jesus Christ. So how do religious films do amongst moviegoers and those that are faith-based? Well, Minister Jimmy McNamara is here with his thoughts on this growing trend. How you doing, Minister? Great. How are you doing, Monica? I am doing great. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, let's talk about this because a lot of people don't want to talk about the spiritual and the religious. They think it's a controversial subject right now, but we're living in some pretty tumultuous times. What's your take on all this? We really are. The people are losing their jobs, are yeah. losing their homes. People are living with their children out of cars. Yeah. They're out of money. And I think they're grasping. Right now, our nation is hungry mm -hmm. for a savior. Yeah. Of course, as, as far as I'm concerned, as a Christian, been around for a very long time. And I yeah. think what they're doing now is just making it more, I don't want to say popular. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's more of bringing more people to awareness of mm -hmm. what God has done when he sent his son Jesus Christ here to die on, on the cross. Yeah. Now, what? Now a lot of people would say, you know, I don't believe in Jesus. I don't believe in God. I believe in the universe. Or, you know, God has called a lot of things. Allah, Yahweh, mm -hmm. Jehovah. He's called a lot of different things. For those who don't necessarily believe and think that, you know, this is just kind of pushing religion in their faces, what would you say to them? I don't think that you could say it's pushing religion in their faces because they've got the opportunity to go to the theater or yeah. not. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can encourage them to go yeah. because of whatever you've got now that you keep searching for, mm -hmm. apparently it's not working for yeah. you. So if you'll go, and, I, and one of the things I love about this movie, Monica, as well as the other ones that are coming out right now, is the fact that they make people think. Yes, they do. They're, it's a very yeah. thought provocative word. It's good or bad press, it's still press. Mm -hmm. And when you've got the opportunity to find out about a man who came here as the son of God, yeah. as the movie depicts, mm -hmm. and some people are saying, you know, it's not exactly what the Bible says. It's a story. Yeah. It's simply a story, and, and the script came from the scripture. Mm -hmm. So whether it follows exactly word for word or not, I don't think that's the point. I think is the fact that we're able to go ahead and see that, yeah, there is hope out there. His name is Jesus. Yeah. I think I, I know the answer to this question, but I want to ask you specifically. How do you mm -hmm. think Hollywood is handling it? Do you think they're being as careful as they should with this? Because, you know, this can offend a lot of people if you don't do it right. Mel Gibson did it once before, and it sparked major controversy with his movie, one of the biggest selling movies in our movie history. How do you think Hollywood is handling this? You think they can do better? You hope they do better? What's your take? I think Hollywood was a little shook up because they most of the critics that came back on this movie said it was bland. Yeah. And that uh, it wasn't fully scriptured as the way they as people see it. Mm -hmm. But I think the amazing part about this whole thing is the fact that um uh, if you have a question, you want to know more about it, mm -hmm. go to the Bible, go to the New Testament, hang a right. Because yeah. that tells the story. Mm -hmm. All they're doing right now is getting people to realize what's going on. I think Holly was a little scared because you don't have all the same actors as you had back when, uh, like the greatest story ever told. You know, yeah. you had Telly Savalas, Charlton Heston, oh, David McCallum. Yeah. Those were A-line yeah, icon yeah. uh Actors. actors, yeah. And you don't see that now, but mm -hmm. look at the bank this thing is bringing in. Yeah. It's just amazing to them. It's, it's amazing to me that uh, Hollywood is actually geared back a little bit and allowing yeah. us to step forward because these, these theaters are selling out, Mike. Yeah, they're, they they're are. crazy. Yeah, the numbers are phenomenal. Yeah. What other biblical stories would you like to see on the big screen? I know, you know, this might be heavy for a lot of kids, but, you know, if, they're, if they are Christians, this is the story as it is, you know, in the this Bible, like you said. But what yeah. other stories would you like to see told on the big screen? Well, one of them that's coming out is Noah. Okay. And I, who is that? Russell Crowe, I think, is, mm -hmm. is doing that. And I love seeing the side stories as well as when Kevin Sorbo is coming out with us, God's Not Dead. Kevin Sorbo is? Yes. Okay. That movie comes out, I believe, right after Easter. Okay. And uh, it's although it's not based on a biblical principle, yeah. it's still raising the awareness mm -hmm. of why isn't there a God or why is there a God. Yeah. Yeah, it's something for folks to cling to. And like you said, this movie is uh, satisfying, I think, a niche right now. Because like I, I said, a lot of folks too. are hurting. Exactly. All right, Minister, uh, thank you so much. We appreciate you being here. Love being here. Always love coming back to the Moore Show. All right, take care. Thanks. All right, Jason, over to you.